Well, fall is fast approaching, and that means you won't be seeing these guys fluttering around for much longer. I headed out to a local butterfly farm to give you one last look of the season at some of God's most amazing creatures and the people who have turned butterflies into big business. Head down this gravel road in High Point, North Carolina, and you'll find yourself in another world. My mother-in-law actually got intrigued by raising butterflies as a hobby. That's what led to the creation of All of Flutter Farms. Nora and her husband started out selling monarch butterflies for special events, but had much bigger dreams for the family business. We wanted to go more educational. They have very small holes in their stomach. One thing visitors will learn, the monarch life cycle. We start with eggs. The egg stage is about one week. It hatches as a caterpillar. Caterpillar eats for two weeks. Then they form a chrysalis and hatch as a butterfly. So the entire egg to butterfly is a 30 day process for the monarch. Here at the farm, you can even feed the butterflies. This stick is soaked in sugar and water. Catching one of these critters on a sugar stick is extremely exciting for the little visitors. Good job. It's extremely exciting to see the kids, especially whenever they come in here and they're super like anxious and then by the end of it they're wanting them on their nose, on their hand, on their shirts, everything. I had like a butterfly landed on my nose. While the farm now offers a lot of fun activities, it also stays true to its roots by continuing to raise and sell butterflies for special releases. We are able to put butterflies inside of a very warm refrigerator for our standards. They fall into a state of sleep and then they're moved into glassine envelopes and that keeps them compact and then they go inside of a styrofoam cooler lined with an ice pack. Once they're back at room temperature for one hour, they're ready to fly in celebration, commencement, or in Mariana's case, remembrance. That is a true representation of how he was. Having lost her husband to cancer, she carries on his legacy by releasing butterflies at his graveside every year. It just adds hope and faith when you're standing at the graveside of your loved ones. It's very, very hard and emotional, but the butterflies give us all that lift. And farmer Nora actually tells me monarchs are hovering above the endangered species list. Oh wow, that's that's a real shame, Peyton. Yeah, but, but actually one thing that you can do is plant milkweed. They say it's actually the only plant that a monarch will lay her eggs on. That so is be sure to do that. That's encouraging news. That's encouraging news. Well, thank you so much. That will do it for this episode of Carolina Week. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night.